This thing can tackle up to and plus 12 full inches of ice. So 12 inches of thick ice in this lake, you can pretty much drive a truck on. Tonight, we climb aboard the Chicago Fire Department's biggest icebreaker as it plows down the frozen Chicago River. With temperatures plunging below zero and in the single digits of late, the fire department's marine unit has been busy trying to keep the river open. Dane Placco reports on why that is so important this time of year. It's just past one o'clock as the Chicago Fire Department's Christopher Wheatley pulls away from its slip into Sable Harbor. This is a good boat for it. It's got a spoon bow. Its mission to cut through the thick sheet of ice that is formed on the Chicago River. So a couple of reasons that we break up the ice. One, allow full, full access in the federal waterway here, being the river. The other is it prevents damage to all the concrete and superstructures on both sides. And it creates open water in case divers need to make a rescue. The Christopher Wheatley is 95 feet long and reinforced with steel and concrete, making it heavy enough to turn up to a foot and a half of ice into a jigsaw puzzle. It's got a spoon bow, so it'll ride up, you know, and kind of just flatten the ice out. In some brutally cold years, they're running the icebreaker all winter long. Last year, they only ran it for a couple of weeks, and right now, every couple of days. We're about six to eight inches of ice, and as you can feel, it's not, doesn't feel like much. It's like uh, riding on a glass boat. It's pretty easy. It is easy, but it's awful loud when it starts cracking. They slice the ice all the way down to Wolf Point, where the river splits north and south, then turn around and head back, watched only by geese and a handful of river walkers taking pictures. You like this? It's a hard job, isn't it? Remember that these same firefighters just spent several hours earlier in the day freezing underneath this ice. We had scuba divers under 12 inches of ice just practicing, getting used to being under that confined space. And in less than a half hour, it's back to base until the river freezes over again. We go out, we break the ice in the wintertime, we save people out of the water. On the Chicago River, Dane Placco, Fox 32 News.